This is the crib, 133 St. James between Gates and Green. This is the crib where, you know, the formative years and everything happened. This is where I was kind of groomed, raised, right here on these steps, these blocks and all that. The best thing about growing up over here as a kid that this is Big Hood, you know, he's the king of this, he's the king of all this. This was a neighborhood, you know, it was us, it was community based, it was, you know, we all looked alike, everybody looked like me in one way or another, you know, and it was do the right thing type of feel. You go outside, you knew everybody about you, yo, what's up, so yo, yeah. You know, it was that type of thing. So I lived over there where we was at, Big Hood down here in the middle of the block. So when I say we was that close, it really was, like 30 seconds away or whatever. This was Big Crib right here. You see, this is 226 St. James. I was 133 St. James, so it was that close, but that's where Big was at. One time for the king. Yeah, just little things being over here, man. It was cool. We really got to grow up as a kid over here. You'd be outside all day, literally. You'd eat breakfast, be outside by like 11, probably watch NBA inside stuff around 11, 12, come outside, be outside till like 10. Once Big blew up, you know, you would see him head and you see him a little less, a little less, a little less, because he moved and getting busy doing his thing. You know, whenever he would come back, it'd be a huge thing. Everybody would flip out your biggest head, man. You know, the whole hood would just turn into something. You know, I remember people didn't want to come to this hood. People didn't want to come to this block. I'm not coming to Best Time. I'm not coming to St. James. I'm not coming to Grand. I'm not coming to Gates. You know, big set of 88 on Gates, snatching the name plates. That's Gates Ave, you know what I mean? So like, he was someone on that corner right there. So we would be over there on my steps. And I remember one time, Big was literally standing right here. And every time he would come around the way, I'd always say, y'all, I'm around for Big, I'm around for Big. As soon as Big left, I was like, ah, next time I'm around for him, man. You see, he left already, and my friends was like, ah, man, get out of here, you always do that, man. So, it's good times, I was about 11, 12 years old.